And as they say, the times, they are changing after land, sea and air. Space is being pegged as the next battleground. Now, Donald Trump has been wanting his own space force. Last year, the American president signed a memorandum to create a space command. Now, this is a new organizational structure that will control military space operations. It will be charged with finding ways to defend American assets in space. It will work on making technical advances that are required to safeguard American interest in space. America has a long history of developing space weapons. The first instance was in 1963. An American missile armed with a nuclear warhead had destroyed an orbiting satellite. Now, during the Cold War, the Americans accelerated their efforts, but after the collapse of the Soviet Union, those efforts slowed down. Now, the current president wants to kickstart it again. Donald Trump is ready to pump in $800 million over the next five years for his space command. Now, China, by all counts, is a latecomer to space exploration, but after missing the bus decades ago, China is now quickly catching up. It's only the third country after America and Russia to send its own astronauts into space using indigenously developed rockets. Now, Beijing maintains that all of its missions serve peaceful purposes. Nobody believes them. America's Pentagon perhaps has the most critical assessment of China's space program in their effort in their report last year. They claim that the space program is central to modern warfare. And this assessment is central to President Trump's demand for a space force. In 2007, China blew up one of its own weather satellites from Earth in a military test. Not only was Beijing able to fire a ballistic missile into space, debris from that test still float in outer space. It led to global criticism of China, but that did not deter them. They followed it up with more tests in 2010, for instance, in 2015 and also in 2018. In more news from the U.S., President Donald Trump has once again landed himself in a controversy for racially charged tweets aimed at U.S. lawmakers of color. In a series of tweets, the president took aim at a group of uh, lawmakers whom he referred to as progressive Democrats in a sarcastic jibe. He then dragged in the ethnicity of the Congresswomen and in what can only be described as an appalling statement, asked them to go back to their home countries. Now, the president did not name the Congresswomen in question, but it's quite evident whom he was targeting. The squad, as they are popularly called, is a group of four women lawmakers of color. They are Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, Ivana Presley and Ilhan Omar. All of them are new faces in the U.S. legislature and have been vocal in their disdain for Donald Trump. Except for Omar, who moved to the U.S. as a child, the other three were born in the U.S. and have lived there for their whole lives. The president's outbreak did not end here, though. He went on to suggest that the congresswomen came from countries infested by corruption and crime and asked them to go back and fix it instead of telling the president how to run the country. Now, Trump even managed to drag House Speaker Nancy Pelosi into his tweets. Now, Pelosi had a falling out with the squad over the Democrats' decision to approve funding for the migration centers. Trump tried to play on this rift and said that Nancy Pelosi would be more than willing to arrange free transport for the congresswoman. But the move backfired, however, as Pelosi tweeted out against Trump, terming his comments as xenophobic. She said, and I quote, I reject Donald Trump's xenophobic comments meant to divide our nation rather than attack members of the Congress. He should work with the U.S. with us for humane immigration policy that reflects American values. Alexandria Cortez also gave a strong reply to the president's comments. She said again, I quote, You are angry because you can't conceive of an America that includes us. You rely on a frightened America for your plunder, unquote. Needless to say, the president is being criticized from all quarters for his racist tweets. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders slammed Trump and said that the country should stand together for justice and dignity.